Are you in the market for a new tent? Something big and spacious that will fit the whole family? Well, we've got the tent for you. In this video, we review the Hiker Garden 10-person camping tent. Here it is. All right, so this is definitely a little bit heavier than our usual tent. And it's because it's just to uh, sleep a few different, uh, a few more people than usual. The tent comes like this in a bag, just kind of how you would expect it. And let's set it up and see how it is. Wow, it's definitely a gigantic tent. I think we're gonna have to uh, play with the angles a little bit so we can actually see what this thing looks like because this is a big tent. Okay, wow. Struggled a little bit there, so but it is doable to put this up by yourself. However, you do need stakes. That is a non-negotiable. The best way to do it would be probably to put both all four of these poles in first, and then kind of prop it up all in one go. Allow it to lean one side or another, kind of like what you see me do there. But wow, this is a big tent. Maybe we should just walk inside for a little bit and see. Holy moly. Okay, I'm six feet tall and I, I can stand in this tent. This is definitely not something, oh, well, maybe, I don't know. Like, if you're gonna be in a campsite for a couple of days, it might be a little bit too big, especially for two people, however, for those of us who like to camp with dogs, we have two dogs in Vancouver and this will sleep probably four people and two dogs easily. This is a big tent. Okay, now that the structure is up, I think we should put in the rain fly uh, and see and see. All right, so the tent is set up. I don't know, it took me maybe 20 minutes the first time around. So it is a little hard to set it up by yourself, but it's definitely doable. Um, the trick with the rain fly is using the Velcro that's here and just securing one of the places, pull it over, secure it, secure it. Don't worry about it fitting or not for, uh, at first. Just secure it and once it's kind of draped over top, you can put the supporting stick in and then everything else should be pretty straightforward. You do need at least four stakes to stake the sides, like here. One, two, and then the same on the other side. That is the only way that the tent will stay up on its own. Oh my goodness, it's super spacious. This is a 10 person tent and you can comfortably fit probably eight people in here seven ten would definitely be a little cramped again I'm six feet tall I can stand all the way up so if you are going somewhere and this is staying up for a few nights like a couple of like man if you're staying somewhere for a couple of weeks this is definitely a great tent to bring along um, Let's take a look at some of the features that are inside before we take a look back outside at the tarp, the rainfly itself, where we can see, uh, take a look at some of its uh, waterproofness. One of the first things that I see right away is the floor. The floor, the footprint of the tent itself is made up of some sort of nylon, very similar to the uh, Ozark Trail that we reviewed 
in that video earlier on and again up here um, so I wouldn't say you need to put an uh, some more uh, another tarp underneath this is probably okay on its own uh, there's a lot of different ways to get ventilation in here there's one there's one and on each of the doors there's ways to get ventilation your normal amounts uh, your normal mounting points like this in order to keep everything nice and tidy yeah this is this would be a fantastic base camp if you are like us but uh, who loves the outdoors and you can find somewhere that you can get decent cell reception and you just want to camp there and do some work you would need a tent like this it is very comfortable indoors and uh, it's <laughs> it is very comfortable on the inside you can you know like almost set up a living room on one side of the tent and have sleeping area in another it's fantastic looking above I do see that there is one hook here right here this guy is going to be great for a light. Overall, I'm fairly impressed. Now, I do see that there are only two, li two little uh, mesh pouches here. Um, usually, T and I use this for our personal belongings. So like my glasses, my cell phone, the charger and stuff like that would go in here when we are sleeping. Um, the other one is all the way across on the other side. So um, you're gonna have to figure something out. Maybe just put it on the ground. Yeah, really, really spacious on the inside. Very impressed. All right, take a look at, let's take a look at the outside and see the waterproofness of the whole thing. Let's go. All right, As a, uh, for a glamping tent, you definitely, I always look for something like this. This is a space where you can snake in an extension cord so that you can get some power. This would be uh, really great if you're on a powered site and you are doing, uh, you're gonna work from here. So plenty of straps on the side for the rain fly. This will keep it taut and everything will then bead off. The rain fly itself is made up of good material. Um, so, I totally believe that this will be rainproof. However, I don't. Uh, I wouldn't say that this is kind of like that top-notch uh, material like uh, it is on our Marmot. But this will do, and this will definitely keep the rain out. Especially if you use all these anchoring points and pull this real taut, then the water will even just bounce right off. So I don't have any qualms with that. Again, outside, more tethering spots. These are very important. You will keep the water away from the tent itself so that even if it's drizzling and you want to open the, uh, the window here for a bit of ventilation, shouldn't be a problem. It is a really great feature that they do have this on the other side as well. I would definitely recommend staking these down if you are going to be uh, camping out for a while so that the, uh, this is taut and again the water will bead right off. And looking inside, this is fantastic. This is one of those premium features that you will see in something like our $300 Marmot tent. And that feature is this actual space in between. A lot of uh, cheaper tents tend to kind of just have something that's over top, but it's very, very close, like really close to the tent. It doesn't allow for great ventilation. In this specific uh, particular case, if I duck down here, you can actually see that there's a lot of room here, like my hand can fit into here and my, hand, uh, my palm from the tip of my thumb to my pinky is about 20 centimeters. So there's definitely a lot of ventilation happening there. All right, so that's the tent itself. There is, however, something very special in here that we haven't looked at yet, which is this little piece of fabric. This is a divider. The divider goes on the inside and divides up the tent half and half. So if you're going as two couples or something like that, and you are not comfortable with sleeping together, this would be a great option for you to divide the tent in half or if you want to make sure that your dirty stuff doesn't smell up the whole entire tent it's also a great way to do that last but not least dogs you can put dogs on the other side so that you kind of keep that stinky dog smell away so we really love that the tent comes with this we only have one tent that has that and it's a six person tent when we put it up it 
divides the space up in a weird way and we don't really love it so we don't tend to use it but because this tent is so spacious it shouldn't be a problem well that's our review of the hiker garden 10 person tent really big tent did i say that already i think i did <laughs> now if this type of review is your jam give that a uh, give the thing a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't we do this type of thing pretty often when we see a product that is really cool and if you really want to support us go check out patreon it's in the link down below